All right, in this video, I wanted to showcase a, I, I've showed it before, um, but I really want to, uh, it was part of uh, multiple things, I think, if I'm, my memory serves me correctly. Um, but a lot of you are aware of the Warpire Bat Swarm Elevon bug, but actually these bugs exist with a lot of different dual element Elevons. And so um, what I'm gonna uh, showcase here today is uh, a combination that uh, I, I honestly don't use it too much, but you know, sometimes I'll switch to it when I'm uh, bored. But so you have the Summon Giant Horror guest here, it's a Z token uh, um, item. Um, they added it to one of the updated Devour quests, I don't remember off the top of my head which one. But it has an Elevol mode for darkness and it has a daze mode. And then Silas is an ultra rare golden gift box. I think it's one of the best pets you can get. Um, it does a dual element fire and darkness Elevon and it has a toggle over to do a control effect. The dual element Elevon here is what will partner and bug out the darkness here as long as it's hitting for darkness. Uh, and I tested it a little while ago, and then it also uh, Ellie seeks between fire and darkness, and it defaults to darkness if they're equal. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do here so obviously, Soul Neko has in elevated pet and guest damage, and then I also want you to pay attention to how much damage is coming off with bleeds and burns. That uh, burn damage will actually also bug out and will be drastically higher. So I'm going to show a couple different things here. Of course, you have your clever disguise spamming. So we'll start here. So we've got 371 and 540. So you're thinking to yourselves, oh wow, that's that's really good pet damage. Part of it is because of the real-time damage increase that Elevons do. For example, the giant horror went, inflicted Elevon, and then it went again in this scenario. Well, the previous turns Elevons increased its damage, so you, that you notice the damage went higher. And then Silas went, and then Silas went. So what you're going to notice this round is the giant horror will go, and we'll see what it does in damage. And then it'll go again. I promise you, when it goes a second time, it'll be much higher than the first time. Then when the Silas pet goes, it'll have its damage. And then when it goes a second time, it will be much higher than the first time. That's because with each infliction, it's increasing its damage in real time. In addition here, you've got these Elevons that says for zero rounds, they're still there. Uh, just in case anybody is curious about that. Um, and so this set of Elevons will stack with this next round of Elevons, which will constantly be growing. And you're going to see some pretty huge damage right now. And then when it's done, try to pay attention to the, if it even has, I think there's honestly a chance this is going to be gone. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, let's pay attention to... Uh, if there's anything left, how much uh, burn and bleed damage is removed. All right, let's see what happens. So you got two and two, and this should be increased, as you can see, 1,500, and then 1,900. So just like I told you, so it was 850-something uh, darkness burn damage is what showed, and then there was some additional bleed damage. So it was 800 damage for burn there. So as you can see, as predicted, in both cases, the second round on the celerity turn had more damage. And if you noticed, Silas did 1500 and then it did 1900. Those were not lucky strikes. Okay, so we'll just finish it up here.
actually just do cataclysm and then I'll just do this just to get it out of the way and let's see what happens here and then 3495 if it would have gone again it would have probably been five or six thousand if it lucky striked anyway um, and you saw that there all right so you're you're thinking, wow, 3,000, 4,000 damage? This setup actually creates a little bit of another pet nuke. You don't have to do phase Wanderer just to get pet nukes. Um, you can get some pretty fantastic damage in this setup here. So this time, I'm going to hit Celerity. And then I'm just going to do this, just to, I don't want to do too much damage on my attack, to be honest with you. I want to see what kind of damage we get here. A thousand, four hundred, and we went seventy-eight hundred to seventy-one hundred. So seven hundred damage in burn and bleed. So this time I'm going to do it again. Hopefully we'll get a lucky strike or two out of Silas see what happens 2100 5400 that time so as you can see it really bugs out and then again the um, the actual uh, burn damage will do will bug out also all right so I'm going to actually show one more thing So let's say I want it to be in Necromancer Cloak. And then let's go ahead and do a Clever Disguise. All right, so we have 167 to Fire and Darkness, and then 210 to Darkness. There's no bleed here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I don't have we could just stick with charisma and luck. All right. So again, there's no bleed here. So what kind of damage could I do on unravel blood which will um, fire against darkness with no bleed here but with these Ellie vaults? So you had five and six hundreds there. All right, so now we have some Ellie Vaughns, but a little bit of bleed. So now we're starting to get increased damage, and the bleed wasn't even that much. So these Ellie Vaughns are actually bugging out other darkness attacks if you have both of those line items here. do here so nineteen hundred two thousand so as you can see it's doing some crazy damage and you can do some decent damage here without any bleed inflicted whatsoever and keep in mind this is just versus 100% darkness so 
Um, you know, if you wanted to use, I'd be willing to bet like Angel of Souls armor with its Ellie Compt um, weapon based skill um, after the, some of these Ellie Vones have been inflicted. What, you're probably doing some craziness uh, as far as damage there um, and anything else that's that's darkness. And I'd be willing to bet um, some. Um, in fact, let's see if we could pull that off. Let's see here. I want to see what would happen. Here, let me get out of this. With some fire Ellie Vaughns, like maybe from Dark Invader. So this time, so we're going to end up with the fire Elevon here. Let's see what happens with if he lands it. He might not land it. Probably not the best monster to do this with with its high ass blocking. Let's see what happens. And it's just being blocked, up, blocked, up, blocked. They just need to change this dexterity attachment with pets and guests already. All right, so let's do this. So just ignore this guy here. His uh, LA volumes are not going to do much. So we've got 946 already. So as you can see, pretty good. And we might have even higher here, 783. I'm trying to trigger good old fashioned lucky strike. I meant to do Essence Orb there. Let's see here. Alright, let's do this here. You know, if the Grack, my guess, was consistent, it would be pretty, pretty good little guest here. But all right, let's see what happens here. Four sixteen. Actually, let's do all of the above. Oh, I don't have word pyre here. All right, let's see. Alright, 1569. So it's even bugging out with the uh, Dark Invader armor. Eighteen hundred. Like I said, it will bug out with these other Ellie Vones. I'd be willing to bet if I got War Power Bat Swarm with this guy with this guy all at the same time you're probably looking at thousands and thousands of damage in fact let's test that theory out real quick it wouldn't be spammable because you're not You're not going to be replenishing SP. So 
where you need to use jelly pet, but okay. Then obviously we need to go here real quick. One of the nice things about be switching between Sol Neko and Warpire is you don't have to do the cure quest, which is annoying. Alright, so let's test our theory. So in this case, we want to make sure fire is good, so let's do good old-fashioned work power bat swarm, but we want to keep Silas. Let me go ahead and get some SP. We want to use Optico, and then we want to use uh, Dark Invader. Got triple shield, so Tropo Shield doesn't bug out with other things, but I'm thinking we may see some crazy numbers here. Let's find out what happens. Maybe one of those monsters that doesn't show the damage here. Notice no damage was shown. Did on the guess, but we'll, we'll, okay, 4,627, and that wasn't even a lucky strike. So now we've combined more than two here. Let's try again. I want to see if I can get some craziness going on. All right, so probably bugged out. Now we're up to 6,000. So as you can see, uh, Silas Pet bugs out with all these other Elevons and um, you basically have yourself some some nukes there you go